Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 7. I'm super excited. The time just keeps on moving right along and it's like before you know it's going to be 2017. That is, I can't even imagine 2017. Um, I feel like this year went by super fast but anyways I just wanted to quickly come on here and um, say thank you guys so much for the support that I was given yesterday. I was talking about um, Matt switching his job from night shift to day shift and immediately when I uploaded you guys were just quick with the, the comments and encouragements and, and giving me scripture and just reminding me of the person that I serve, like this incredible powerful person that I serve that has my back no matter what. So thank you guys for um, just uplifting me and encouraging me. I didn't want to make it like seem like I was complaining, although hey, people complain it's fine. Um, but because especially since I, I, I've taken care of my kids before without my husband, it's just we are um, in a different state. It's a wintry state and I've never like taken care of kids like I guess, especially four and a baby um, in a winter state. So I'm, I'm still a little anxious, but I'm just going to thug it out and you guys get to see me do that stuff and I'm sure it's going to be fine. Um, <clears throat> and also a huge, huge, huge thank you if I had like a little thing, I like blow it or something, but a huge thank you to um, everybody who subscribed to my channel um, I'm a little at I'm a little over 700 subscribers so and I got that within like I don't, not even a month because you I just did the shout out for 500 subscribers and I'm at 700 so thank you guys so much for uh, checking out my channel and I guess liking it and um, hopefully there will be more good stuff for you to um, want to see on here and that's all thank you guys for just subscribing and I think once I reach obviously not 800 but like maybe a thousand I'll do like a giveaway um, I'm not sure though but we'll see today for vlogmas day seven we're going to do um, an interracial tag and so I'm gonna go get Matt hi guys Matt's right. back with us hey and we are going to do the um, interracial tag first question is what is your race slash ethnicity I am black American Mm-hmm. From Africa. I'm just kidding. What's yours? And uh I am white and I am Germish Germish. German, Irish, and Italian. Um, Germish. With an English last name, but I don't have English blood. I wonder what's your grandmother's uh the Italian your Italian grandmother with her last name? Her maiden name. Oh, I don't know. That's a really good question. Yeah. Okay, sorry, second question. Ask. Um, was this your first time dating outside of your race? You can go. For both of us, yes. Because we're each other's first boyfriend and girlfriend, so yes. Yeah. Did you did you ever have a crush on anyone? I had my first crush, third grade, he was a black boy. And then fifth grade, Puerto Rican boy. And that was it. So I don't think that I just, I like people, you know? Yeah. I don't really care about a race and stuff like that, but... Yeah. So he was my first boyfriend outside of my race. Mm -hmm. well, that's okay. <clears throat> uh, what has been the most challenging thing about dating interracially? For me, I don't think there has been any challenges. No, no. no I don't. I don't think. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing crazy. No. Um. Kind of going on with that. Do you get dirty looks or stares in public? Um. Do we? I don't think that we do. If we do, we don't notice. Um, I know, uh, like we've been, we've lived in Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and most people think that we have experienced some form of like stares and stuff in public, but we really haven't. I mean, I think the most thing, well, you have to remember that it's, we've been married for almost two years, and so we had our baby within our first year, right? Mm -hmm. Within our first year, so when we would be like walking with um, our daughter, people would like be more so willing to like stare into the shoulder than to stare at us. So I think it may have made it easy knowing that we had a baby for them to be like, oh, sh they have kid a kid. So yeah, um, I think I think originally we were worried about it, like down in uh, down in Georgia. Mm -hmm. I think we were worried about it, but I don't think it ever really it ever really happened. But also like I don't I don't think it, we ever got angry stares, but maybe like like you were talking about with the baby, maybe mm -hmm. curious stares like. Oh, what does their baby look like? Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind that's of thing. the thing. And even now, like going out, we have a huge family, so we don't ever notice anything. We just see 
what are we gonna buy in the mall or what are we gonna buy in the grocery store so we don't notice who's like watching I mean people do say stuff like oh look at that little girl's hair or she's cute or they're cute mm -hmm. they make comments like that however yeah people stopped us in the mall to see Kinsley oh yeah my gosh several people yeah. did somebody grabbed my arm but anyways <laughs> um however if we are in a grocery store somewhere and this is gonna sound like cocky but it's not if and if you see like the kids and you stare and you don't like have a smile on your face I may have to say like duh just some like or my eyes are gonna get bigger it's not me it's just like it's a natural reaction because I feel like if you look at kids you should smile no matter what they are so if you're looking at my kids and you don't smile I'm just gonna be like mm -hmm. and I've done that before yep. Not all the time, because usually they get, like we said, the, the nice compliments and stuff, mm -hmm. but yeah. that's it. Do you plan to get married or have children? No, we, mm -mm. Never. No. Next question. If so, how do you think they will be perceived? I guess the kids, yeah. Yeah, how do um, kids, how will Well, that's just perceived? along with the other question that we answered. I don't. The, these sound like they're questions coming from, like, the 1960s, like. I feel well, like... No, I think because it's real. I think in some areas, it's definitely real. People perceive mixed kids differently. Mm -hmm. We have never experienced that, though. And yeah, we have been lived down south. We travel a lot down south. I don't think they're perceived any differently. Mm -hmm. um, some kids in the class, in the girls' class, they ask questions like, um, I know one girl, I think kindergarten said, are you brown or you're black? And Courtney's like, well, no, I'm mixed. Um, and that's normal for kids to say. But I don't think they're perceived yeah. differently. I think I think they, you know, we have a cousin who is like, I have a girl who looks like her in my class. But that was, you know, years ago. I think he was like four or five. So he didn't really know what he was talking about. Oh, yeah, your little cousin. Yeah. So I don't know. Go so on. they perceive good, like any normal kid. Yeah. <laughs> um. Is it different dating outside of your race as opposed to dating within? Um, no, I wouldn't think so. No, it's it's an interpersonal relationship. I mean, there's going to be differences, you know, in the way that I was raised and the way that she was raised. It really doesn't matter about our race right. that much. It's just mm -hmm. we're different people. I didn't marry myself, and she didn't marry herself. Especially, like... I was raised with siblings and he's the only child so that's a big difference it doesn't have to be white I don't have to be black that's just a how you know our backgrounds and upbringings worked out so yeah I don't think it'd be different do you interact with other interracial couples absolutely um, do I do it on purpose I don't know I mean I'm the kind of person like if we have things in common I'm gonna be your best friend and a lot of my friends, especially on social media, are um, the same as mine. I have interracial relationships or have four kids. Um, I like to stick with people who are like me. And that's not even just about marriages. It's with kids as well. Like, if you have, like, one child, I have four, so... Can we really yeah, relate? Yeah. I like relatable people to, to our family dynamics and things like that. Yeah, and I don't think it's necessarily, like, we don't like not interracial couples we just like interacting right. with married people because they have they have similar life experiences in that way right and and i, I like hanging out with couples married couples if mm -hmm. you've been married in almost as long as we have then i absolutely will be our friend so i don't think it has to do with that either but um yes i interact with interracial couples we keep not answering the question <laughs> sorry mm -hmm. what made you fall in love with this person you can answer that her it was it was Karen. It was the person that I love. It's the person that I feel in my heart that is my soulmate. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do, and it, you know, going along with the theme, it doesn't have to do with her race or the color of her skin or anything like that. It just has to do with um, the person that she is. Yeah, and I think that's the same for me. I don't. He could be black, Puerto Rican. It's just who the person he is. He is, and he, I know that he loves me and will do anything for me. And that's not like materialistic stuff but that's just really like anything and they made me fall in love with him so was that it yeah those were the nine questions 
Any closing thoughts? Um, no, I just, like I said, I think people think that we experience a lot of like racism and stuff like that, and we really haven't. I mean, like I said, for us to be, to have lived in down south areas, I personally experienced um, racism before being married to Matt in college, but again, like we've never, being married, experienced that. Mm-hmm. As far as we know, I mean, I'm pretty sure he would say stuff behind our backs, but they yeah. wouldn't say it to Yeah. Any last thoughts from you? No. Never experienced any prejudice or anything like that, that I'm aware of, at least. Yeah. Yeah. My sister just called me. <laughs> we declined her, so I know she's going to watch this. Sorry, yeah. Gary. Um, she's going to go back again, so let me hurry up. We have four kids, and so I would want my kids to marry who they want to marry. I would never say, marry this person, marry that person. Marry who you want to marry. Mm-hmm. And I want them to grow up knowing their history um that's both sides and yes but i want them to grow up knowing their history and they can identify with whatever they want to identify with when they grow up mm-hmm. no all. issues here <laughs> that's all thank you guys for watching our interracial tag if you have any more tags you want us to do leave them in the comments below or message me um and that's all thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers Woo! we're so excited and um, we will see you on tomorrow's vlog, Vlogmas Day 5. Now, I'm going to be cooking something. Did I say 5? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then 8. I'm going to be cooking um, this Japanese little recipe today. What is it? Miso butter shrimp? Yeah, miso something shrimp. Yeah, miso butter shrimp, I think. Um, and I may add that in here. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys like the recipes that I make and stuff, but, or that I makes. But if you do, um, let me know and I will probably edit in here. I'm not sure. We'll see how it works out. But thank you guys so much again and we'll see you tomorrow.